Here the power of the Sunnies, welcome to another GT4 arcade video. Before I get started, be sure to watch the whole video, burn up that like button, destroy that subscribe button, see through that notification bell, leave a good comment down below, follow me on Twitter the Great Sunnies, check out all my other YouTube videos, I have playlists, check out Blue Vivocity and Sonic Central, their YouTube links in the description as always. And if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to do everything I just said, it really helps out a lot. I always appreciate the support. We're back with some GT4 arcade shenanigans. Want to get my last few recordings in before I head to Alaska this Sunday. I only just have today and tomorrow to record. And then I'm going to be off for the, all the next week. Because I will not be able to record. Yeah. So the last time we did, well, we did Ice Arena, we did Grand Canyon, and Shamani all by themselves. We're going to do the last four races together, meaning, well, these two are going to be together, and then these two are going to be together. So we're going to shorten it up just a bit. So we're going to do two races. So we're going to do normal, and we need to get in a rally car, but... Here's the thing with this course, as well as to meet Tahiti Maze when I get to the next part. There is a little bit of tarmac on both of them. You'll see what I mean by that, but first I need to find a rally car. Let's see what we got. Let's go to Mitsubishi and see what we can find. Oh yeah, I should use that. No. Kind of leaning towards that. And now I might go with it. Difficulty 5, and here we go. Cathedral Rocks. Ooh. No, we'll be doing two races, and we are with. It's another Evo rally car. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but it seems fast. Oh, dear lord. 114 points. Now we're gonna sit with three laps. It'd only be fair. Or why I want to do what I want to do is because I think it'll be easier to do. Like, it, it would just be easier if I just gave them these last four races their own segment. Meaning, putting two races into one video instead of just having the one. Now, uh, Gran Turismo 4 as a whole, I haven't played in quite some time. A few weeks. I'll probably get back to playing this game after I come home from Alaska. Probably.
Uh, the next race is going to be a bit short because Cathedral Rocks too as well just without this section it's at this turn we're going to be approaching soon it's where it clips off it should be right about here yeah right here is where it would start Basically from there all the way until the start finish line is where it, is where it cuts off. I'm way ahead too. And I definitely sure could get my couple days off of recording. I took a few days off because I had recorded so many videos. And yes, we will be driving the same car. Oops, wrong button. This car. And the next race as well. Not in the next part, but we'll be driving something different. much else to say on this place other than that this is an American rally Cathedral Rock slash Yosemite slash El Capitan slash whatever it's in California I'm not from California Anyway, I win. Yay. Let's see how much I won by over this guy. 14 seconds. That was easy. And yet the race was 114 ace but points. We move on to the second race, which is Cathedral of Rocks 2. There is a third one, but it's not in this game. I think it got cut or something. Uh, now we're moving on to the second one, Cathedral Rocks Trail 2. We're gonna be getting in the same car I drove as I did in the first race. Same usual stuffs, difficulty 5, and automatic transmission in 3 laps. This one is a little bit shorter though. Well, I mean, a little bit, I mean, yeah, quite a bit. Oh boy. Oh boy. This one might be a little more difficult. Well, we'll see how this goes. I'm sure the A spec points are going to be high. Since this one is a little bit shorter, we're going to add at least an extra lap. So this will be a four lap race. Three laps here goes by in like four minutes. Or like three. Yeah, just one extra lap. Give me that a little extra comfort. You know, could make all the difference in me winning or losing this race. But we'll see what happens. Oh, snap. 130. 
I might be screwed. You never know. Get the open opportunity to get by him. And I put him in the wall. Gosh darn it. I wanted to make that clean. I have a feeling this guy's going to stay on me the whole way. Let's see what he does here. He's got like 26 more HP than the that Evo rally car went up against in the first race. Oh god. And I spun around. Luckily I was able to get back to speed very quickly. At least it wasn't severe. No big deal. Yeah, that little trail to the left of that on that by that wall, that's the third one. And it cuts off this whole boot section. That one would take only like 30 seconds. I do plan on doing some more tomorrow, but there'll be other things. Am I? Oh my goodness, car! What the frick? You never did that to me in the first race. Yay! Fails. Gotta love it. It's very hard to drive clean in the rallies. It's hard to believe that I've had this game for almost two years already. I really have to thank my brother for getting me this game. I've always loved this game. Even though I sucked at it when I was a kid. But I've gotten so much better. And that goes for the goes for the same for Gran Turismo 3. That game I used to be trash at. It. And now I'm a boss. I've beaten it six times. Or five times or whatever. some thunder. Yeah, there's a thunderstorm coming through. Uh, I hear some thunder right now. It's actually quite loud. I can hear it all the way from down here. Anyway, I won. Woohoo. I won by 10 seconds. So I won by...
about 3.8 seconds less against that freaking Evo. So the next time we will be finishing dirt, dirt, the rallies, the rally courses, I should say, and we'll be moving on to the original circuits after we're done. My favorite track is in this section, so I can't wait for that. Um, but yeah, it feels it also felt good to do double, like two races a segment. So I was just doing one. But I digress. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned for the finale of the Dirt and Snow. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to burn up that like button, destroy that subscribe button, to hit the notification bell, leave a good comment down below, follow me on Twitter, the Great Sneeze, check out all my other YouTube videos, I have playlists, uh, check out Blue Vivocity and Science Central, the YouTube links in the description as always, and if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to hear everything I just said. It really helps out a lot. And uh, yeah, finale of Dirt and Snow. Ooh. So sobs into ED Maze. The finale. Anyway, with that, this is a great Sinead saying. Catch you guys soon.